Hi. Do I need to do I need to stand quite close to it? Or maybe yeah. I can. <laughs> Sorry. Th that will be a challenge. If I walk away, please send me back, yeah? Or can I, oh, can I have this one? Awesome, thank you. I'm walking person. So I'm Lucia. I'm from Czech Republic, uh, from the Wikimedia Czech Republic. And I'm celebrating my fourth year currently uh, in the chapter. And I started as an educational manager. And this year, from January, I'm as well the community programs manager, just a little bit for the context. And I probably will not maybe say anything special. Maybe, maybe you will relate to it. Maybe you will find yourself somewhere on the way. But I thought it's maybe sometimes good to stop and to look what have happened and try to analyze it. I'm not sure I managed, but uh, let's see. Eh? Uh, and I think we managed somehow finally to hack it, but I'm not sure entirely how that happened. So let's see. And uh, yeah from dissemination to cooperation, because I think we've been disseminating for a good part of the time and that, 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 that disseminating and pollinating, that doesn't always work, right? Okay. Do I shift it like that? Yes. So when I came to Wikimedia, I inherited the job of like the work which has been done already, and it was awesome work have been done in the education uh, program already. And I as well inherited, I think these few messages like writing Wikipedia is really sexy. So just work on it, <laughs> right? And I realized not, I don't know if you managed to sell it, but I'm not, I'm not very good in selling that uh, Wikipedia writing is sexy. It doesn't appear to the people around me. Um, and everybody wants to write Wikipedia, but they maybe just don't know yet. So again, dissemination, eh? I try to inform them, hey, we can actually write Wikipedia with us. Ah, come, awesome, editathon, sounds good, no? And they were often not coming and not joining. So uh, this is pretty much where we are right now. Uh, before I worked in my educational program, and I was not necessarily knowing what my colleagues are doing. Uh, at the moment, we have three educational, uh, we have three programs. The educational programs, uh, where I have four other programs under it. We have a programs for community, and we have a programs for partnership. Partnership, you can imagine, it's Glam and it's uh, Wikidata community under it. Programs for community, it's all the editathons uh, and a lot about for the photographers and for the commons. This is an ugly one as well. I, I realized we all managed to incorporate some ugly slide in our presentations, so this is my one. Uh, it's our poster, but it kind of covers well uh, all the diversity we have in the educational program. So we have the Senior Rights Wikipedia. I will not talk about that one that much. We have a program for libraries, program for schools, something which we call Open Education Program, where everything else fits, and uh, the students write Wikipedia and teach with Wiki. And the students write Wikipedia. When I came, I was said, you don't have to do much about it. It's like university professors, they just join the program and it rolls. And my numbers start to drop down. And it was the same with libraries. Oh, you just attract libraries, librarians. You teach, you train them how to run the courses in the libraries and they do it. It was not happening. <laughs> they were not coming for the courses. And if they came, they didn't want to run the training courses. I spent almost two years trying to, you know, carry on because the message was, this was working, you just carry on. And I think then, then some changes came. And uh, these are the three elements or approaches. And I think we stopped to pollinate and disseminate and uh, we start to look for what is there and to work with what we actually have. And there is this golden rule in open space technology. Whoever comes is the right person. When it starts, it starts, and when it's over, it's over. And I'm not the one making this decision often. I have to listen to the partners, to the schools, to the librarians, because they make this decision by walking closer to us or walking away. And it's not me who can make this decision for them. So I should as well sometimes just accept it's like that. Maybe they come for one cooperation, they disappear for a year, but then they maybe come back stronger. 
or they realize they've been with us already a few years ago and they want to come back again. But it's not necessarily me who can hold that and, and ma manage that. I have to let them to decide for themselves. So I can create the environment, I can open the doors and windows and invite them, but there it stops and the rest I have to let go. What helped us as well is to be more needs-oriented, solution-based and tailor-made programs. So even I show you this outline, what we all do, it's not fixed. I know a lot of you have wonderful methodologies and, and you have like fixed programs and, and I heard from many of you that it functions that you just roll. In our environment somehow I have to adapt to almost every university, I have to come up with different solution. To almost every library I have to come up with different solution. So even I have some patterns, I have some offer, I still have to come to the dialogue, to hold the dialogue and to see and to be very much like need oriented and, and to look for what they need. Because if I, if, I, if, I, if I skip that, we will not match and the first essential moment will be lost. And uh, with that, and at, it took me a long time to advocate for that within the community, I think, was this shift from writing Wikipedia sexy, is sexy to, to this like more listening mode. And my aim in educational program is a first positive experience. And I don't care so much what that experience is. If it's just that somebody opens Wikipedia and look at with different view on it for the first time, or they finally understand how the open licenses works, or where the pictures appears at Wikipedia, it's okay for me. For the first experience, I don't need more. But before we were looking often at this, like they have to register, they have to start edit, Otherwise, I cannot show the good numbers. I still have to show the good numbers. <laughs> so I'm still in that uh, game. But uh, it helped us, I think, not to hunt for the good numbers always, but to look for as well other qualities in the whole thing. And the third very practical uh, thing is the team. I call it thematic clusters here at Wikipedia, but maybe some of you are much more in that than I am. And it's the wiki portals and wiki projects. So I realize if we have enough topics or enough topical areas which we can offer, then I can engage some of the partners for a longer period. So I will give an example with a very concrete one. And it's a wiki portal media literacy in Czech, uh, if anybody dare to understand at least a little bit, mediální gramotnost. In Polish, it would be probably gramotność or something like that. I don't know. I'm just making fun now. Uh, so the media literacy uh, we established because we start to talk our partners from libraries. And they said that the, for next two years, they will have a topic to work on with all the libraries across the country. And it's the media literacy. And gosh, I talk about media literacy in Wikimedia for the last two years but I never get the mandate. It's the same with the open educational resources. But this came as, as a reach out from the librarian side saying, look, we are looking for some platform. We need to start to work on this topic. In the same time, it came from the, from the high school teacher, high school teachers. They start to organize some festival. They pretty much all happened within last year and it clicked together somehow. And we said, okay, what we can do is to start the portal, to identify keywords from the media literacy which are missing and to serve as a sort of a knowledge hub because uh, keywords like uh, fact-checking, for example, or now I don't have any ideas in my head. Maybe I can read it. No, I cannot. But as you can see, only these are not ready now, but all the blue ones has been created within last half a year. And um, that way, we somehow managed to start the conversation about what kind of vocabulary is used around media literacy. Because often all these words, like the good example is with the fact-checking, it comes from English. So how you call it in, a, in your language. Even if it's media literacy or media education or what it is, you know, and to kind of open that dialogue. So 
by opening this one, we managed to as well attract one of the universities to join us and to work with their students on writing all these keywords. And uh, it continued. It's not like a big thing, but we never worked in education uh, programs before with portals and with projects. We thought it's maybe for the community programs, but now it seems like a way for us. And I use this as an example when I talk to new universities and new partners now saying, look, it can be like that. So maybe if in chemistry field you would like to have something like that, we can have a look if there is a portal. Maybe we can start to build it up with your students. And suddenly the motivation is somehow there that it's something more tangible, more long term for them. Because if people edit single individual articles, they kind of disappear in the whole system. But if you can refer to this one and see after half a year that you actually created 20 new uh, keywords, I'm using the wrong word for that in English, sorry, at the Wikipedia, then uh, this feels a visual impact. Huh? I've done something with my contribution at the Wikipedia. And uh, so I had these three things and then I think there was one principal change we did in uh, our organization. And it's the way we co-create our work plan, our yearly work plan. And it's a structural change and it took us as well a bit of walk from one step to another. But at the moment we created together and I will show a terrible table now. <laughs> so how our work plan looks like now. It looks like that. You cannot see anything, I know. But it fits to one page. Before, we would write like 30, 40 pages thesis work plan, which I don't think somebody read before and after, but we still had to refer to it. And this one just says months. And in the first line, it says like, a, it's kind of a backbone, a skeleton of the activities we have. And they are mostly the main campaigns we have in the community programs. And then with all the other programs, it comes the rest. So we all can see who is working on what through the year, but we all try to stick to the main campaigns. So for example, if we have a wiki gap or if you have the human rights month starting next week, uh, if I'm doing something in the educational field, I try to communicate that with the partners or with the schools. So if I will be offering workshops in June, I will probably try to offer workshops thematically based on human rights. The same in autumn, we have a Czechoslovakia 48 to 89, like filling the historical gap at the Czech Wikipedia. Then again, I come to schools and I offer them workshops which are focusing on, on that topic. And the uh, same it goes with the libraries and with other programs. So in May, we have often trainings for librarians because it fit to their schedule. And it's wonderful because we have one lip and one ref running right now. So what they have to do through the training, they come for one day training to learn how to edit Wikipedia. They have to do at least one citation at the one lip, one ref campaign. So I'm killing two flies with one swap, how we say in Czech. <laughs> so this was, uh, this was uh, probably the fundamental change for us, how to combine the programs together and how to not keep working alone. Because sometimes we really didn't know what I'm doing in Edu, what the other ones are doing in the other programs. Now we talk about it and we try to, uh, even in partnerships, even with Wikidata, to work on the main campaigns. And then the rest fits somewhere in between. Does it look horrible or does it look? <laughs> So this was actually a, a, a slide which was there in the presentation. And I was like, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> stick with the basics. It's like that, really, stick with the basics. Don't, don't overdo and don't overcomplicate it. And this is, not, this is not to tell you, this is a reminder to myself that we tend to overcomplicate some, sometimes the solutions because we thought we will finally figure out how to make writing Wikipedia sexy. 
But maybe not. Maybe we just have to really stick to basics and to say these are the fundamental elements. For me, it's the first good experience. And if I sometimes tend to run somewhere away, I come back to the basic again. How do I do it? I think it will work. Anyway, so what is the learning there? <laughs> At least for me, the shift or change is probably always possible, but you have to allow the change of perspective. So just to walk and to see it from the other angle. Uh, iterate. If you have a solution, open to iterate it and to change it. Listen, walk the talk with some of the partners. It took us a year and a half. I think it's similar to what we heard from, from you. How long it takes like to, to, to be patient enough to walk the talk with the, with the others in the system. And don't rush sometimes because it will not help to anything. And yeah, less is often more and small is beautiful. And I think this is it with my message. I guess there is not much more. Uh, I just wanted to say hello from my lovely colleagues. Of course, I will not manage that on my own. So these are my two colleagues. If you come across the presentation, you can contact me or you can contact any of them too as well. The tall one is working for the senior program a lot. And Pavel, my chief trainer, is actually the one working with the media, uh, with the media literacy portal among many other things. And thank you. Do we have questions? Uh, yeah, I have a, a question on the work plan. So are the themes um, one month long, all of them, or how does that work? And do you... Um, like, do you then create uh, activities in your different programs after those themes? Or um, how do you work? Can you elaborate a bit about that? I will try. I'm not sure if it's easier, but I can put it back. Is this, uh, you like it now? <laughs> so we kind of look at, I think we, we, we did this, we look at the work plan, uh, we look at the strategic plan. The strategic plan is for four years long, which means we actually have to start work on a new one next year. But now we currently have a strategic plan which runs for four years. And that one is based on the strategy 2030 of the movement. So that, that kind of tell us roughly what we should do. And uh, with the yearly work plan, we knew that some campaigns work for us and that we want to continue with them like Wikigap. Like we finally, after four years, kind of know how to do it, so we don't want to finish with it, right? Even the Swedish are saying now that it might be finishing. And uh, we as well know it about the uh, Czech, Czech Wiki photo, uh, which is uh, our photographical contest, and, and with several others. So we identified like the main chunks, the main campaigns for the editors and for the photographers, which runs usually on a monthly base. Yeah, it's like a monthly contest. Uh, but as well, if the partners cannot fit within the month, and they say they still want to cooperate on human rights, let's say, but in June it's totally impossible. Then we try to figure out somewhere through the year if it would fit for them somewhere later. And we turn most of the campaigns as well into wiki projects. So we have a, like a wiki project which runs through the whole year. There is a contest or monthly challenge, particularly given somewhere place in the year where we focus it more. But we are open now to as well receive orders, let's say, through the year. Is that the answer? Yeah. Yes. And I think we have to reduce it a little bit. This is this year one and, and it's a lot, to be honest, even with the main campaigns. This is already a reflection. It's a lot. It's manageable, but it's a lot. Do we have more questions? No? Okay, thank you, Lucy. Thank you.